Hello everyone, Shantae here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I wanted to come in and share with you guys um, a little project that I um, worked on. So um, <clears throat> I wanted to still try to, you know, do other little albums and everything. So I purchased this die from Amazon in December. And so I wanted to show you what I made with it. That's the item number. And these, this, this die is old. And for some reason, I thought I had this die in my stash but i didn't it's another die another album die that i had and so when i went to go find this one and i um because i keep all these in the same spot um i realized it was the, the other die and i actually didn't ever buy this one so that's when i went looking for it and i bought it off of amazon and it was really um a good price on on amazon so the first one that i made um, this album is, um, you know, you can utilize the three by four journaling cards. So I pulled out this collection by Prima. And to be honest, I don't think I've, um, I maybe have used this one time, but when I was buying the collections, I was buying everything to go with them. And so I knew I had three by four cards to go with this. So this is stationary desk, an old collection. And so the very first time I made it, <clears throat> I did all three a little bit different. This is the first one. And I just used um, my Dollar Tree trim. This, you know, this comes, that crochet comes from the Dollar Tree. And then this is in the collection. I just cut it out and popped it up. And, you know, these are flowers from wherever. Wild Locker Crafts or I Am Roses. So when I first put this together, I used magnets on this one. I cut the pages out and I glued them like this. And so... What happened was this uh, paper, the end of this was attached to this side, and I did not like that look. So I went back in and uh, cut the end pieces to cover that up because um, I didn't like this being on this page. And so um, I did the album to do like this. Did I? Or did I do it? This one. Yeah. Yes. And... Um, that's how this one goes. Of course, you can't decorate anything but the outside. And then these are the three by four journaling cards that came with the collection that you can put a photo or something on. This is really quick and easy project. Um, but also, you guys, if you have um a machine, this is by Lori Whitlock. You know, she originally started making um her designs. SVG. So if you have a die cutting machine, you can actually just buy the file. She has something similar and you can just make these with your machine instead of getting a die if you don't want it. So this is the first one. And as you can see, it's not thick at all because I use the A4 pad for the base because it's too big for a 6x6. Six six. So I use the A4 pad to cut out the pages in the 3x4 cards. And so I only that's all I did for this one. It was my first one. And like I said, you can see it's thin. Well, after I did that one, um, this is another collection. What did I do with that pad? Oh, here it is. Um, the next one, I pulled out this. I bought the set from Hobby Lobby. I never had used it. So I wanted to pull out the LOL and then LOL. And then... Um, with this one, I did it a little bit different. Here's the front. So, um, cover for this one. I used the um, Magnolia bow die. And I used the sticker. These are in the sticker pack. And I have bought this. Um, I saw it in Michael's. It's a clear. Oh, I forgot to show it to you. But it's some clear um, foam tape that's in michael's and my michael's is um you know where the other adhesive and stuff is at but it's not actually made for crafts it's made for hanging stuff but that's what they had it in my store but it's absolutely clear and it's foam you know it's thick as you can see like this well because this sticker is is clear so i love that so um i could use the clear sticker and just pop her up and you can't see the adhesive because it's clear and this is a sticker sheet as well, a piece from that as well. 
and um this is the inside <clears throat> i used magnets with this one now with this one i used um cardstock and then i layered it <clears throat> layered all the pages and i used washi tape through all of them now this made the album way thicker because i used cardstock and then i layered it which um i shouldn't have did and i just cut these down to go on the inside so i just like i said i just used the washi tape i don't i buy washi tape but um i hadn't bought none in a while before i bought this i just got it because they had somebody that looked like me but i don't really use washi tape but um i bought it for this because of that and so and this is the back and so that's how that one was so if you can pair the two you'll see that they are thicker the second one is thicker and then after I did that one, I said, okay, let me try this. And so I used this collection. Remember, we got a bunch of these for Penny and Michaels? Yes. So I pulled out that because, you know, blue is my favorite color. Turquoise specifically, but, you know, any shade of blue just about. So this is this one. And on this one, I used um, the Tim Holtz. Um, this is a Tim Holtz sticker out the sticker pack and this vellum it is so thick it is actually that vellum i showed that i purchased from scrapbook and made simple i had never cut it but she did tell us that it was thick and it is so thick it just stands up on its own oh i love it so much and on this one i found my velcro and so on this one as you can see i did not put any paper in the front or the back to try to reduce the bulk and I didn't put anything on the inside. I just, we, this one doesn't have any journaling cards. So I just used the paper and cut three by four inserts. And as you can see, I left that blank. And then I did not like um, seeing the, the uh, side of this one. So what I did was I just cut, like I did on the other one, cut the end pieces and covered that up. So they would um, go on the other side. And so that's how I did um, this one. So I'm not really sure. I really like the way I did the second one best. But like I said, it's bulky. And when you get, see how that one still has a lot of room. But when you get through adding pictures, it's going to make it like alligator mouth. So um, one of these two would have to be the way that I would do them from now on. Um, just to have room because, you know, the purpose of making these cute little books is so that um, they can actually be used. So I have three. Um, three projects, um, three little albums to use, a giveaway or whatever I decide to do whenever the mood hits me. So I really do like the way this turned out. And this was so super easy. So I hope you guys like, uh, my albums and hopefully I explain, I explained it, um, well enough. Um, the little few little tweaks that I did to them and on all of them, you can glue, glue it right here. But I don't like that. I like for it to flow free. So that's why I didn't glue them down on any of them. But you can actually glue that down as well. Alright. And um, that is it you guys. I just wanted to share that with you. I've had these made for a minute. Just now getting around to doing the, a video to show them. And so I will be back with another video. Uh oh. Bye.